probably don't remember that, but she I remember was, it just a little. I didn't watch it a whole lot. She was funny. I saw one skit of Saturday Night Live other than her monologue, and you know when uh, Keenan comes in and he's a prison prisoner right. and he's getting on all the new guards. She was the other prisoner with him. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. She, they said they everybody enjoyed working with her. Everybody <clears throat> said that she was sharp witted and her tongue was even sharper. And they, I mean, they heard that really about good. myself. Yeah, she is eighty eight years old. Eighty eight. Eighty eight. That is crazy. That is crazy. And she's, you know, and she, it's so funny that she just makes jokes about it. I mean, she's just, just I mean, saying. She's, pretty funny. she's eighty eight and and still. Like that, Bobby Bowden is 83, still, you know, you're 40. I can't, I can't hear shit and remember nothing. Hmm? <laughs> See? <laughs> it's amazing. You might not make now, it. Now, Michael Bublé was married. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one thing about Betty White that I, I don't have a problem with. And What's that it? is working till 1 a.m. and then going out and getting my that's party true, on. She went, to the, she went to the SNL after party and I, they didn't say how late she was out till, but. Probably 1.15. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine if she stayed out to three or four, the next, she probably slept all. Oh, she probably day. did. She probably don't even, she probably don't sleep much. You ain't got much time left. You might as well not sleep a lot. <laughs> that sounds Stay like something up. she would say. Her commercial of the Snickers commercial is probably my favorite commercial. Oh, that was your favorite with the, uh, with Super, the Super Bowl? Bowl. It was my favorite commercial. And then Abe to Oh, God. I thought he should have been dead years <clears throat> Listen, ago. Listen, I watched Barney Miller oh. for Fish. Yeah, he was funny. God. Fish was Abe Vigoda. Oh, he was so Miller. funny. Okay. That was a great sitcom. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Let's see. Had Ron Glass. Ron Glass was on there. Had uh, uh, the main man, Barney. Uh, yeah. What was his name? Had Wojciechowski on there. Mm -hmm. Chris Wojciechowski. No, oh, that was a basketball player. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Hey, Bergoda. The, the, the Chinese, Chinese guy. dude. God, I don't even know how guy. he could see. That was so funny. What you had to is do his that. name? <laughs> the Chinese guy. What is Barney Miller's name? Somebody send us Al a text. Holbrook. How? It's how something. something. You're right. Send us a text. Let us know. God, that's going to rack my brain. Hey, I got a uh, question. Okay, I'm going to ask yeah. these people right here. Ask I them. want you to send us a Facebook, a text, however you can get in touch with us. We're thinking of a web series to do. Yep. Three to four minutes a week, a web series that's funny as hell or gritty as hell or... The law and order you've been talking about, or the CSI you've been talking about, but something that is strictly web-based that would be really easy to do, and and make it make it a, a location we can handle, whether it's a, a, a something we can yeah, don't build. Yeah, we at the White House. Yeah, and don't move us around <laughs> all over the country. It's Just, a living room, or a or a or a jail cell, or give us something that's we can contain and and, and shoot it. That, that's a good idea. Good call there. Well done. <clears throat> Somebody sent out a questionnaire to Waco regarding KWBU, which is the PBS. Right. There is no, there will not be PBS anymore. Correct. There will not be Sesame Street. Right. In Waco Aww. anymore, unless another channel buys it. They sent out a questionnaire to all of Central Texas and asked them, "What's the one thing that they could do?" to get them to watch, and they went local programming. Wow. Hello, they went, we would love work. to see locally produced shows. I mean, it don't get no more local than here. 736 Clarence Woodway Avenue, Waco, Texas, 76712 <clears throat> is where our office is. It doesn't get any more local. Don't come by here late. We'll no. think you're a, a vandal, vandalist. Speaking of vandalists. Uh, yes. An evangelist or a vandalist? The vandalist, the vandalism person might be having a job. Woo. She might need a job. <laughs> <laughs> With that deductible on that car. <laughs> well, we got our fingers crossed. 
I gave her some good, you know, good props. And she's got a little inside track to getting the job, um, which, we're, is, we're, which is good. We're, we're hoping. We're hoping she gets it. We're hoping she gets it. And I'll tell you what, she will probably be good. I, I think think no she doubt. Will. Yeah. No doubt, because she likes money. And, and it's hers. And she likes to put that smile on and, and she interact does. with That's people. She does. That's what I said. I mean, she's just... <clears throat> yeah. She, she really does. She would like to have more money than me. I wouldn't have. hire her. They said, why don't her dad give her a job? I can't afford her. Uh, hey, Living Room Wars is this Saturday. We have all the girls. Please, yeah. girls, you have killed it. I have been Facebooking like crazy that we need some guys. We need we nine it. guys. Well, nobody will laugh at that three. That three, yeah, go the other way. <laughs> fingers, that way. fingers ain't touching right there. We need eight to nine guys left. That is, and all 13 shows are full up. Come on, men. Man up. We have been getting so many texts and stuff saying how much punk y'all are from the women. I know. And we I'm can't scared. do it. Or we would do it. We can't do it. Do we have Keith on that show? No. I know he's watching. <laughs> you know what, Keith? You're watching. Keith, Zach, and Jim should be a team. There you oh, go. Yeah. Unless they're scared. Unless they can't do it, yeah. Unless they're scared. Yeah. Even Brett can do it. Uh, Brett, Keith's friend. Brett yeah. ought to do Brett it. Brett Brownie. Brett Brownie. Vic. Yep. Vic, hello. Keith, come on. Put your team together. We'll let you wear your cowboy hat on there, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hot for me to that do. was hot. <laughs> All right, you know well, what? Well, hold on. How come Mr. Inkjet don't have a team? <gasps> Whoa. Mr. Inkjet. How come Double Dave don't have one? Exactly. Holy crap. How come Jeremy Lolita don't have a team? <gasps> Y'all need to man up. Hey, and even Ferris. And Ferris has a team. Ferris he does? got a team. Fer right, I, I talked good. to Ferris yesterday, and okay, he is good. going to put his team together. Thank good you, job, Ferris. Ferris. <laughs> Thank you. I told Kurt that Ferris would do it. So. Good Lord, Mr. Inkjet and Double Dave and Keith and Jeremy. Gosh. Mm. Never knew y'all be punks. You must. <laughs> <laughs> I right, wear this thing out cussing y'all out. Are y'all really that scared that the women are going to beat you? Really? No, the women won't win. It's oh, just... yeah, they would. <sighs> we probably have to come up on a wager. I, I, I can't wait. To shake the hands of one of the teams that figures out the oh. final puzzle. Oh, yeah. I know that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty good. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be good. I my I'm thinking nobody will get it. I'm re <clears throat> I'm so stoked. Well, I think somebody will. I think Randy could if his team can win. Mm. I think Randy I'm calling Phelps, out Randy Randy Phelps. At, out of the people I know, I think he could pull it out if his team can win. Now, the men have to win. To I get forget to that who point. else is on. I think Charlie's on his team. They're okay. going against Judy and Angela and, and somebody else. I don't know the other Whoa. one. Whoa. He has Charlie. Now, Angela, if you get it, his word, he had to eat those words. Yeah, I sure will. I, I really think Randy could. I did not know Charlie was his teammate. So after the show, we'll just show Randy where it's going to be. Oh. Gonna be. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Charlie. <laughs> All right, man. Everybody have a great day. Glad to have Stephanie back. Hey, I'm getting a shot tonight. Thank you very much. To and what about your allergies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those shots don't make your allergies go. Listen. Through. Oh, wait, wait. Listen. Shuffleboard. We're going to play tonight. I didn't say that. If you ain't scared, I had my off week last week. Good Lord. Yeah. I'm probably going to show up. I, I show up every other week. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it. how it's working I right did, now. That is true. So, so if you're scared, I, I, I understand. Listen, at Crickets, do you want to go 830? No, 830. 839? Yeah, there was more people there. Yeah. That's... About 8, 830. Yeah, let's, yeah. Get there. let's get there about 8. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock at Crickets. We're there from about eight till two a.m. Maybe we'll go home early, but I don't know. It usually shuffleboard, couple of brewskis, good times, good friends. <clears throat> I'll tell you this. Go and ahead. if you wear a red sea shirt, if you wear your red sea shirt, we will allow you to buy our first round. Hell yes, we oh. will. I like it. I like it. There thing. you go. Good thing. You cannot Am I beat that. On this hour? Yeah, you can get yeah. First round. You can go pick them up. Well, for I don't us. really drink that much, so. You can go pick them up and bring them to me and Chris. 
Stephanie, which I did don't last really time. drink that much. You mean just lately? Just right. lately. Yeah. Lately, yeah. On, on your health kick deal. Right, right. Yeah, I, I thought you just meant lately. Yeah, just lately. Uh, yeah, because I, I haven't got my else, party on in a while. Everything else was a lie. <sighs> Until tomorrow, we'll be at Shuffleboard tonight. I am Russ, this is Steph, that is Chris, and we are out of here.